Today's review is all about the MZ Wallace Parker. Welcome back to Bagtoberfest. I decided to share the Parker with you today because I've been using it for the past few days and I absolutely love it. It's easy, it's comfy, it's a really good one that I think you guys will like a lot. I still have lots of stuff in here, potty training stuff, you'll see, I'll get into it. But I love that it can hold all that stuff while still looking just like a cute purse. Some of the like other smaller MZ Wallace crossbody bags that I would have used as purses, I found myself not using them as much because of the strap. This is just like a seatbelt strap, so it's not like the most comfortable strap. And so when I was looking on their website and I saw this option here, here on the Parker where you can adjust the strap here with the kind of more seatbelt material on this side but the rest of it is the really like comfy squishy nylon material had to try it I love it on the top it is trimmed out in the Italian leather it adds a pop of color on the top of this really beautiful dawn color it has a beautiful silver hardware and you'll see I'm wearing black today but I feel like it just works it's a good color I think the only downside to this is when you're getting out of the car and stuff, you kind of have to just grab the bag from the top. There's no grab handles here or anything, but I actually like that there's not the grab handles here because I think it would give the bag a different look, and I really like the look here of this. So I'm cool with just grabbing it out of the car and throwing it over my shoulder. And this material is super, super comfortable. I like how this feels on my neck much better than just the like seatbelt strap material. On the bottom, there is the MZ Wallace logo. Um, there are no outer pockets on this bag, which normally I do not love, but the where this sits and where I open the bag and have like my phone and my wallet right here, it doesn't bother me. Um, I can access those things really easily with one zip. I'm not digging for stuff. So it actually has been working out great. And the size of this is just awesome. I feel like they need to come out with this bag in more colors because I would buy it. It's a great, great bag. Okay, let's check out the inside. Okay, so you can see it's one zipper across the top. It kind of scoops down and then goes back up here. So opening this up, you can see it gets about that wide there. This is a darker color on the interior, but since it's not like a huge bag, um, I'm able to work with it just fine. Everything organized into pouches, which I love. So there's like three pouches standing here upright and then one pouch over here in the corner and they're all really nice and easy to grab for. So I'm not like digging towards the bottom for anything. It's all really nice and organized. Back here in the very back, this is actually the pouch that comes with this bag. It's a really Really nice size and in here I am keeping all of my like potty training diapering stuff inside of here and there's extra room to spare so that is great just tucked over here I have my sunglasses um, I love that the MZ Wallace bags are so stuffable and you can really work with the material and they're easy to add things in last minute just because the material is a little bit more forgiving so sunglasses over here right here in the center I have another um, MZ Wallace pouch this is from my Sutton here this is where I'm keeping lots of stuff I have medicine and band-aids I also have lotion and deodorant just random little things are in here and I love that with these MZ Wallace pouches they weigh nothing so it's not weighing down the bag at all but all of my stuff is very easily organized inside of here so right here off to the side just kind of standing up I have a Dagny Dover pouch this has all of my family's masks in there normally it's just me and my daughter running errands these days because my boys are at school but just in case I have a whole bunch in this pouch and then the last thing just sitting in the middle of the bag is this um, mesh pouch from Dagny Dover and in here I have a bunch of different snacks. Over here on this side of the bag you do get a key leash so perfect place to add my keys. And now let's look at some of the organization. So back here in the back, you have a nice big zippered pocket. And these pockets from MZ Wallace are great because not only is it just one big pocket, you actually have two more 
pockets inside of here. Um, but just in this main space, it's really nice and roomy. Um, I am keeping books for my son to work on his reading. I also have a boogie board. And then at the very bottom of that pocket, I have um, my pen and tie to go pen. So there are two pockets here. Inside of this one, I have this little pouch that's holding hair ties and bobby pins. And then I also have at the bottom of that pocket, um, my earbuds. And then looking over here in this pocket, I have some hand sanitizer spray and the flash cards that go with that kind of see-through boogie board. So I love that I was able to organize all that busy stuff back there and just kind of random stuff and really nicely into that pocket. I was worried about those items kind of poking out the back and like hitting me when it's on my side, but they don't. It all fits really nice and flat. And then looking at this side, there are two slip pockets trimmed out in the Italian leather. In this pocket, I am keeping my phone. And then in this pocket, I am keeping my Dagny Dover accordion wallet. And I just like having both of those items right here so that when I unzip the bag, I can get to those two things really quickly because that is what I'm gonna be grabbing for most often. So there you go, that is what the interior looks like. I love the fun um, chunky zipper that you get on this bag. It's just a really easy, like comfy, casual bag. And I especially love the comfort of this strap here. If you have any questions about the Parker, please let me know down in the comments below. I'm considering grabbing the smaller version of the Parker. I've heard that the strap on it is a little bit shorter and not as long as this one, so that makes me a little bit nervous. Um, if you know anything about the small Parker, let me know down in the comments below. But I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for this review today, and I will see you guys in my next one.